Hey guys, me back again. I just want to do another quick review uh, of a product that well, it's a free product that I, I stumbled across um, in looking for a uh, alternative to a paid product. So I was looking at Camtasia, uh, which is you might be aware of. It's one of the uh, sort of leading screen capture softwares, um, and they had a really good Black Friday sale recently, or maybe been. No, it was Cyber Monday, sorry. Yeah, Cyber Monday sale. And um, unfortunately, I just totally forgot to place my order and um, I, I missed out on this deal. And, and, you know, then their customer support weren't particularly helpful in terms of saying, oh, well, look, we'll give you the deal. You know, I, I mean, I worked in a, you know, retail business here in New Zealand doing marketing for quite some time. And we had a simple rule that if uh, someone missed a promotion, you know, as long as they had a genuine enough reason, um, you, you know, you want the sale. Uh, you know, if you could afford to sell it at 30% off, you know, on the Sunday and you can't do it on the Monday, well, then you obviously couldn't have afforded it in the first place. So anyway, I was, I was a bit annoyed about that. I'm still going to buy Camtasia, but I'm waiting for another special because it's just a bit too expensive for me at the moment. And the uh, in terms of the recording I need to be doing... Um, so I looked around for free options and I came across Cam Studio. So I'm not going to give a long review here. This is going to be short. Um, but look, what is Cam Studio? It's a free software for screen capture. Um, so, you know, if you want to record anything on your screen, like a PowerPoint presentation or, you know, record yourself using a piece of software, um, anything like that, uh, well, you can use Cam Studio and it's, it's totally free to download. Um, you know, it's a small download file. Uh, it's fast to install. Uh, you do need to be aware of the fact that it will try to get you to install a whole bunch of freeware during the install process. I imagine that's where the software makes its money back is through uh, bundled installers. There's about three or four different um, options I had to click no to in terms of uh, installers. So that's, that's a little bit frustrating because obviously I don't really like having uh, software I don't want forced on me, but um, look, just make sure you, you click out of that. Um, I, I've never seen anything worth it that's included in one of those bundled installer windows. So yeah, just be careful of that. Install it. Um, look, as far as free software goes, it's very functional. Um, if you need to do basic screen recording, it is pretty good. It's, I mean, I've used Camtasia in the past. I, I had it. Um, Camtasia is the, the free, sorry, the paid version. Camtasia is, is a paid product that costs about 200 US dollars normally, and, and Cam Studio is free. Um, and in the past, I, I used Camtasia a lot, so I got used to how it works and how easy it was to work with. Um, and when I had a Mac uh, two or three years ago, I used to use ScreenFlow as well. I think ScreenFlow is now a paid software. Um, I haven't had a Mac computer in quite some time. Um, I wouldn't mind one actually for some audio stuff I want to do, but ScreenFlow is not compatible for Windows, so it's besides the point for me anyway at the moment. Um, but yeah, look, Cam, Cam Studio... Uh, what do I think about it? Because I want to keep this review nice and short. Overall, it's pretty good for free. I mean, if you just want to do some basic screen recording, it, it really does work. Um, you know, you can select the whole window, you can select the whole screen, you can drag an area to record. Uh, it's, it's just getting a basic recording done is actually very simple with, with Cam Studio. You're not going to struggle with that too much. Um, the, the downsides of it from my perspective are, firstly, that there's... Uh, there's a lot of options that obviously you need to have a bit of an idea what you're working with or, or do some Googling or YouTubing of solutions to get better results. What I found is that the Cam Studio files are simply too big uh, compared to what I would get with Camtasia. You know, I recorded a, um, I mean, I've got a high resolution screen, so I suppose that's a factor, but, you know, I recorded a, about a two minute video, maybe even less than that, a minute video of me scrolling through some uh, web pages and clicking through some uh, tabs on my computer and the output file was enormous I, I think it was like several gigabytes um, so you know if I was doing a uh, you know 30 minute presentation or you know wanting to do a video review the reason I want to get into screen capture is so that um, at the moment I write my reviews just by speaking into Audacity a, a recording software that's free um, and then I have the audio transcribed by rev.com um, I've pretty much stopped writing reviews just in text or you know just in sort of word and, and then copying them over to my blog um, I, I much prefer speaking uh, but 
what I would like to do is actually kill two birds with one stone. I would like to make sure that every product I review, if it's relevant, has a video version as well. So if it's a software, I'll show you key things in the software. I'll show you little tricks or tips I've learned. Um, you know, if it's an info product, well, I, you know, I'll show you what you actually get with it so that, you know, those flashy looking bonuses, if they're just crappy little ebooks, well, you know, you'll learn that without having to spend the money. I mean, that's my tagline. I, I waste my money so you don't waste yours. Uh, and it's a fun hobby for me. But look, I want to get into doing video screen capture uh, and, and, you know, then I'll have the audio from that transcribed instead of doing a separate audio version. Um, so look, I thought Cam Studio would be suitable, but my uh, videos are going to have to be reasonably long. And even though I've got a good computer, you know, beefy processor, lots of RAM, big hard drive. The other thing I found about Cam Studio is that uh, it doesn't feel that smooth. You know, I, I can remember Camtasia working very nicely indeed on maybe about five years ago, an older version of it when I used it through a, a job I had. And, you know, I was running a pretty crappy machine. I think it was like a... Uh, Core 2 Duo laptop with 4 gig of RAM and Cam Camtasia felt pretty good. You know, it honestly, f the recording was smooth and the uh, the playback of the video was smooth as well. Whereas the the Cam Studio videos I've got, um, I've done, they're a bit choppy. Even though I'm playing them back on a fast computer, they don't look particularly good. Fine for something really brief, but not good enough for w what I want. I'm not happy with them. Um, but look, that's probably just me not having the correct settings applied. There are all sorts of different codecs and things you can download and you can pick different options. So, uh, I guess to be honest, it's probably more of a reflection on, on me and, and my w lack of willingness to spend time getting used to using Cam Studio. Um, I think if you're in business... Uh, you know, the most important thing is optimizing the efficiency of your time. Obviously, you don't want to piss money away for no good reason, but at the same time, you do want to be efficient with your time. Now, I could spend ages learning Cam Studio um, and, and, you know, working with it to get better results. Um, but I know that if I spend 200 US dollars plus tax on, you know, so about $400 in my local currency, um, which is a lot of money, but if I spend that on Camtasia, what I know is that I'm going to wind up with a software that does pretty much everything I need it to do and it will do it faster and it's even got some pretty decent but basic uh, video editing functionality in it. So Cam Studio, is it worth using? Um, if you want to save money and you want to record your screen, yes I think it is. Just you will need to allocate some time and, and get stuck into actually learning how to maximize the results you get out of it. Um, on the other hand, if all you want is the easiest option for recording your screen and you just want a software that's so straightforward to use and get good results with well no either buy camtasia um, which i think works on windows and mac or if you're on mac you can also consider screenflow as well i found screenflow very good to work with back in the day and probably one of my biggest regrets of selling my old mac mini that was a great little workstation was that it had a free version of screenflow on it and it, it worked well for me so yeah cam studio um you know, it's not amazing, but it is a solid little free tool. Um, just make sure, firstly, you don't accidentally install any crap during the installer process. And secondly, you will need to have some time spare to learn the ropes. Once you've done that, though, you should have a nice little tool. And if you want to record videos um, on your screen because you want to do tutorials or info products or anything, well, it might be a good option. So, so it's well worth giving it a try.